Okay, so the first problem asks us to reflect across the or the y-axis. Okay, I definitely encourage you to sketch, bless you, to sketch at least one of the points to see what your rule is. Okay, so if you're if you are reflecting across this y-axis, and you take this first point negative three six. Okay, so I'm just going to sketch that. And if I reflect across the y-axis right here, I'm going to see the y-coordinate stays the same, but I get the opposite x. Once I establish that one rule, I can now apply that rule to all the others. So I'm keeping the same y, so the same y here, the same y here, and I'm taking the opposite of the x's, so a negative 9 here and a positive 7 here. So if you establish the rule, again, it saves you from having to test every single one and go through uh, all of the transformation rules. And now this, the last question that you're going to see on many of these uh, types of problems is how does the area of the image after the transformation compare to the original? And because these are isometric transformations, there's no change in shape or size, so what do you think is going to happen with the area? They'll always stay the same. Okay, and so I, I include that even though it's somewhat redundant just to emphasize that fact. 